I've just turned 30 years old. Here's 30 lessons that I've learned. Comparison is the thief of joy. There's always going to be someone else who is bigger, stronger, richer, sexier, and with more status. Judging our self-worth in relation to someone else is a slippery slope. When comparing up, we feel discouraged. When comparing down, we feel superior. Neither of these are healthy. Our time and energy is best directed towards self-comparison. You versus you mentality is the lesson. Fall in love with the process, not the outcome. I've made the mistake of placing too much importance on results, robbing me of satisfaction along the way. Achieving a goal is short-lived. Feeling empty after reaching the destination is a problem with tunnel vision. Immersing ourselves in the daily process is a smarter way to use our conscious bandwidth. Don't delay satisfaction until the end. Dip yourself in dopamine every step of the way. Be grateful for what you have. Living in a body which is capable of change is a special thing. I make a conscious effort to appreciate my current level when things are going well. Why do we need injury or trauma to make us stop and reflect? Gratitude makes us fulfilled with our current state, bringing a sense of enough to combat a toxic desire for more. Learn to be grateful for what you've got and don't wait until it's gone. Ego lifting is the enemy. I'm guilty of lifting heavy to show off. This comes from an insecurity of not wanting to appear weak. Technique turning to trash is an obvious sign of ego lifting. Learning that other people don't actually care about your workout is liberating. Real strength is training with weights which suit your strength level and using proper form. Warm-ups are overrated. People waste too much time doing mobility drills, stretching or activation exercises. All you need is a general warm-up to increase blood flow, followed by a specific warm-up of heavier sets on the exercises in your training. Do the minimum needed in a warm-up to feel physically and mentally ready. You'll have more energy directed towards what matters most, progressing your program. Set goals so you can grow. You can't hit a target if you don't know what it is. We avoid making goals because the fear of failing is greater than the potential reward of succeeding. We don't want to disappoint ourselves, so we settle for the status quo and the comfort zone. Unless you get clear on what you want from training, don't expect to change. Write down your goals so you can channel your effort and make them a reality. One size does not fit all. There is no perfect technique that works best for everyone. Always choose a stance or grip which agrees with your body. Use equipment which allows you to move freely without hesitation. Never force your body into a position which feels bad for your joints. Pain-free progress is the priority above what is considered optimal online. Patience is a virtue. Few people live by these words. Don't expect to accomplish anything significant without patience and time. The fitness industry knows we want fast results, so that's the lie we're sold. Impatience is celebrated and our desire for instant gratification is exploited. Slow and steady is the secret. Results are the reward for staying the course. Never stop learning. Constantly read, play podcasts or watch videos, whichever medium you enjoy most. Pay attention to experts and beginners alike. Everyone has a unique perspective to offer. I maintain my edge by staying curious, always being a student with a growth mindset. Full range of motion matters most. Compared to partial reps, full ROM is superior across the board. The science suggests you'll gain additional muscle size. Strength improves at all angles of a joint's movement. Expect to increase flexibility for free when training full ROM. Using your body's full range should be ever-present for everyone. There are no shortcuts. Ignore the promise of a quick fix. Assume it doesn't exist. Don't get sucked into believing there are secrets to success. Hard work can't be skipped. Follow the consensus of exercise experts and avoid the advice of charlatans. Create healthy habits. Having a regular workout routine, what, where, when, takes away the need for motivation. People who don't have strong habits are usually the ones who skip their sessions when willpower wanes. Working out first thing in the morning is the best habit that I've formed. There's no need for motivation if you repeat a behavior so often that it becomes automatic. 
Having fun is underrated. The world's most optimal exercise or method is worthless if you hate it. Doing something you enjoy gets better results because you'll try harder and be consistent. Having fun is the best way to maintain adherence long term. I find rotating exercise variations very useful when things begin to feel stale. Training with different equipment is a novel way to keep exercises fresh and fun too. There's so much information online, it's easy to get overwhelmed. I'm someone who overthinks, weighing up the pros and cons to a fault. This paradox of choice makes me anxious, indecisive, and fearful. Being clear on my goals has been the cure for blocking out the noise and taking action. I've learned to trust my initial judgment and adapt my workouts over time instead of ruminating to the point of paralysis. Focus on flexibility. I neglected stretching at the start of my journey, which I regret. Once I stopped being lazy and started stretching with weights, I gained adult flexibility. Having greater range of motion allows a full expression of movement mastery. There's no excuse why you can't become big, supple, and strong. What's the one most important lesson that you've learned? Share your wisdom in the comments. Listen to your body. It's the best teacher. Don't ignore the signs and symptoms you're getting. Aches and pain are a warning. Don't push when it's time to pivot. You're not a prisoner to your workout program. There's no need to follow it 100% of the time. It's okay to adjust volume or intensity based on how you feel on the day. Autoregulation is something all advanced athletes do, which keeps them winning long term. Progress is never linear. It took me years to internalize this concept, but once I did, the angst I experienced reduced. Progress will go up and go down. Peaks and troughs are reality. As you get stronger and stronger, it takes longer and longer to adapt. Managing expectations and being realistic is the secret to satisfaction. Be patient and practice self-compassion while respecting the time course trajectory of progress. We get good at what we repeatedly do. I used to waste so much time with accessories. I thought weak link isolations were the answer to getting stronger skills. Nothing helps you improve like training the real thing. The law of specificity reigns supreme and I've learned to bias the basics. I've made the mistake of thinking if some is good, then more is better. Training longer, harder, and more frequently is not the answer. I've experienced plateaus, mental burnout, and injury when I've bit off more than I can chew. Be ruthless in prioritizing quality over quantity. There's diminishing returns from doing more. Seek pleasure in performance gains and don't get addicted to the feeling of fatigue. Basic movements are the priority. Don't neglect them. Continue progressing your vertical and horizontal pushing exercises for the upper body. Leg days should include a squat, lunge, and hinge for comprehensive gains. Multi-joint exercise is the most efficient and effective form of resistance training. The majority of your strength and muscle gains are from compounds. Never forget it. Prioritize what you want. The times I've made the worst progress is when juggling too many goals at once. Improving calisthenics and weights while getting leaner and strength stretching at the same time doesn't work. Trust me, I've tried. Excessive fatigue and a lack of progress are indicators that priorities need to be set. We can get better at anything, but not everything at once. Pick your priorities. Consistency is key. We have to keep showing up and getting the work done regularly. We put too much pressure on ourselves to always perform at the highest level. This all or nothing thinking begins the slippery slope of skipped workouts. Rather, give your best effort with the energy you've got. Embrace consistency above intensity. Day-to-day -day effort connecting weeks, months, and years of regular exercise serves the building block of your fitness. Sleep is the solution. A common mistake is majoring in the minors. People sweat the small stuff, stressing about the details of exercise and missing the big picture. Sleeping five hours a night while arguing about the latest science is redundant. Sleep like a baby so you can train like a savage. The gains will be night and day. Keep a workout log. What gets measured gets improved. Knowing exactly what you did previously allows you to accurately plan the next workout. 
Accountability improves when writing down workouts. We put more effort into beating our previous self. It's easier to stay motivated when you see proof of progress over time. A workout log shows proof of what's working and what needs changing. Evaluation allows us to evolve. Environment means everything. Work out at a gym or fitness park with a culture of excellence. Join an online community with like-minded people to stay accountable. Follow social media accounts which are educational and motivational. We need others around us to raise our standards so that we can become the best versions of ourselves. Sustainability is the answer. In the past, I've worried too much about following the optimal workout. I'd feel terrible when I couldn't stick to something which didn't match my lifestyle. These days, I commit to a workout program I know I can follow when life is busy and stressful. Select a sustainable frequency which can be followed in the best and the worst of times. Unilateral exercises are underrated. I never took them seriously because they were difficult and humbling. Once I realized the stimulus was higher and fatigue lower, I saw the value in unilateral. After swallowing my pride, I started training smarter. My left to right symmetry in size and strength has never been better. Walking deserves more respect. Forget about the latest gimmick for recovery. Anything acting on the body is an expensive placebo at best. Getting seven to 12,000 steps per day is the easiest free way to improve health. Get yourself a fitness tracker. Get your steps in daily and enjoy enhanced recovery. Program hopping is my pet peeve. Always doing different workouts is woeful. We're giving the illusion of gains through soreness or beginner gains on a new exercise. Whenever I lack discipline to follow one program, I don't change. Stick to your routine and progressively overload. The results will show. It's okay to rest. Be patient between sets. Rest three to five minutes for best performance. Deload after periods of hard training to recover and supercompensate. Take time off completely once per year. Every sport has an off season, so should your personal practice. What would you say is a lesson that I haven't mentioned you feel is important? Comment below, I'd love to hear it. Awesome guys, take care.